and welcome to Raga Lab session 25. We're going to work today on Raga Desh and I'm Will Marsh. We're in the key of D and Raga Desh is a beautiful uh, evening rag that's also connected with the rainy season, the monsoon season. And this rag comes from the Kamaj Tat. So we're looking at all Shuddha notes with also using Komo Mi. So if you've played rags like Kamaj or Jinjoti, um, these are all in the same family as Desh. And let's start today by jumping right into the ascending and descending pattern of this beautiful rag, Rag Desh. So we'll start on the seventh degree knee. And as we ascend with Desh, we skip Ga and we skip Dha. So here's our ascending pattern. Mi sa re ma pa mi sa re And we'll go up to Re on our ascending pattern. So our ascending Mi sa re ma pa mi sa re Coming down Sa mi da pa mi So this is the most basic way of going up and down. Let's play this a few times to get uh, our hands moving with this. Three, four. Great, so that's the first thing to practice to get just the basic sense of the movement of the rag. And now, as we go deeper into how Desh moves, let's take note that the strong notes in this rag are Re, Fa, and Shuddha Mi. So sometimes when you're learning a rag, it also can be helpful to know what you cannot do or don't want to do. And some of the things that we don't do in Desh is we never go up Re Ga Ma Pa. It's always Re Ma Pa. Re Ma Pa Ga Pa. Re Ma Pa Ni Ga Pa Ma So we're often coming back to Re. We're not hanging out on Ga. And we don't play straight phrases like Sa Re Ga Ma Pa. And same thing with pa da ni. You won't hear pa da ni, you'll hear pa ni sa. And part of the delicacy is how to use both knees in the proper way. Um, the most common is, you know, you can hang on the should the knee as you ascend. You hear a lot of this in Desh. And then to go to Komo ni, you play up. So that's a common phrase to go up, hang on me. So now we'll work on a few more patterns and phrases that show you the rag um, in addition to the ascending and descending. Okay, so we'll think of this next pattern as like a chelin, a walk through the rag with some of the more specific phrases. So let's take it bit by bit. Starting on ni. I'm bending re magare from the re fret. You want to master this phrase for dash, it will come a lot. So all taking this phrase from me. Let's do the 
this a couple of times. Again. One more time. Next, we're going. Let's do these two together. Now we go up to high knee. You can do this with neend or crinton. Alright, so this high phrase again, we're going mapa ni. One more time from ma, mapa ni. Let's go from the beginning now. Here we go. Alright, now we just have a couple more phrases to bring us back. Let's do this one more time. to come back. Now, this is our phrase back. of Kamaj here. That'll be the whole ending. Let me play this one time. Yeah, so there's a little bit of uh, some expression there in need with the phrases. Let's do this a couple times. So, that's our first one. And then, and then, From here again. One more time. Do this whole challenge from the beginning. Here we go. All the way down.
Great, so take some time with this chalan and see if you can find that fluidity in the mind and the phrases. And you can also look at other ways to add mind or krintin. This is like the overall shape that I want you to get that shows a lot of the movement of the rag. So I'm going to leave you with one other pattern. It's a nice sapat, so a long scale in dish that'll fit into teen talk. I'll play this for you once. Starting on beat one, let's try that. Da dum dum da. So these will all be great patterns for you to get started in this beautiful evening uh, rainy season rag, rag dish. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to be working with you again. I'm Will Marsh, and if you're curious about more of my offerings, check out some of the links in the description. I'm very passionate about teaching this music, and I've offered easy ways to work with you wherever you are in the world. You can book a complimentary lesson with me just to get a feel for how I can help you out. Um, so if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so you're up to date with our next classes. And uh, happy practicing until next time. See you. See you.